Hi guys, it's Nicole and I just wanted to share with you tonight a little bit about how I am um, keeping track of all of my contacts, whether that be people that um, I uh, have as customers through Beachbody or whether they are people that I'm meeting on social media, um, they're my coaches or they're uh, people that I've talked to maybe about the coaching opportunity or maybe I've talked about different products with. Um, it's important to be successful in business, obviously, to keep track of that so that you can keep building relationships and keep following up um, with those people. And if you don't track it, then you're going to forget to do that. So one thing that I am doing or I started doing was I just bought this awesome little handy dandy um, whiteboard at Target for $5. Um, and I put my to-do list on there and I those are the things that are like my main tasks that I need to do every single day and I'm just putting little check marks every day behind it if I accomplish those tasks so that's one way that I'm doing that I'm also using the 90 days to diamond um, or the 90 day activity tracker in the back office of Team Beachbody under the um, training academy I believe it's lesson four of the game plan there is a 90 day activity tracker so I'm using that as well to track my daily practice progress I just track my numbers that way um, and then I also utilize the fast track sheet um, available on the team on fire training website um, from Mindy Winder to be able to track um, who I've actually presented the business to as well as um, just the any sales maybe I've made or presentations that I've done. Now aside from that because since I'm doing that on paper um, because quite honestly when I've tried to do it on the computer it just doesn't seem to work for me. I'm, I'm someone who needs to just write these things down. Um, I'm going to be utilizing and have started utilizing a note card system. So what I did was I went to Walmart um, and I've had this card box for a while, but I got this card box. It's one of the oversized card boxes for the bigger size. Um, and I got some of the divider tabs. Now these are actually the alphabet divider tabs, but I flipped them over so that I could write on them and put whatever information I wanted. So like this front tab I have just for my coaches. Um, these are my coaches in general. Um, and I put them behind that tab. And then I made tabs for all of the months of the year. So like this one says July because it's July right now. Then I did um, the numbers 1 through 31. Um, and then there's the rest of the months. I do also have the alphabet here. And this is where I'm just putting those contacts that maybe our customers um, through Team Beachbody but they don't really respond to me, we don't interact like hardly at all but I still want to have them in my box. Um, that's where where they're going to go is in the back here. So um, what I do is if someone is a customer for example or they're a new contact that I think could become a customer um, I'm going to make a card for them and I'm going to add their name and their phone and their email. Um, I should also add on their Facebook or Twitter or whatever if they're on social media. Any goals that they may have about their fitness or their nutrition and then extra information that I just learn about them that I think would be helpful and useful in the future. Um, whether or not they're on Shakeology if they're a customer um, and obviously if they're not a customer yet they may not be on it and that's fine. Um, and then what program they may be using for their fitness. And then on the back is where I will use that space to continue to write information I learn as well as um, going through and adding, um, like let's say I talk to them about products or I send them samples of Shakeology, I would log that on there. Um, and that's for regular customers. So I do that and then I would just place this card under the date. Um, to interact with them. So like today is the 26th, so like let's say I made a card today for someone, um, then I would maybe put them under the 28th, so a couple days from now I would talk to them and I'd put them in there under that. And then when the 28th comes, I'd just pull out all of these different cards and I would talk to whoever those people are or I would email them or message those people. Um, for coaches, I have separate cards for them and it's pretty similar. I use the color yellow. Um, and I just have basically that same information, their name, their phone, email, important information to remember, reasons why they're doing the business, um, 
things like that and just the back side to be able to record and then the last color I'm utilizing is orange um, and this is for people who are coach leads people that I've talked to about their coaching business and I think that they're really interested or they may become a coach so they're pe the, these are cards that I really want to stand out so that's why I am using orange and then if they would become a coach I would just transfer this information to my yellow cards and same thing like if someone starts out a customer and then they move to a coach then I would just change and make them a new card so that would be in the appropriate color um, and this month um, or next month actually I will be getting um, Shakeology leads from corporate um, because I qualified with Success Club 10 so I'm going to be using green to follow up with people who are Shakeology leads as well or people who I think are really interested in Shakeology and I'll be doing the same thing with those cards I'll just be adding their name and email and that sort of information and then I just take those cards and I place them under the date that I want to refer back to them and um, like I have some people who are coach leads for example that have said they want me to contact them back in the fall so I already have um, some cards under August well that we're almost in August but so September and and all that sort of thing so I know to, to go back and contact them in that time. So that's how I'm doing that in terms of people who that I'm really connecting with. Um, I don't necessarily do cards for every single person that I know. Um, I utilize you know my Facebook list for that as well as a website called Connected HQ to keep track of all of my contacts but um, these are the people that I'm really actively engaged with and um, really building relationships with and um, maybe really talking about fitness or talking about products and that sort of thing with so those are the people who are going in my box so that I can make sure that I'm connecting with them every single day and it makes um, my to-do list a lot easier so there you have it that's what I'm doing and hopefully this helps and I hope that you have a great day thanks